We are live here in Toronto. Championship Sunday here with Major League Gaming. And we've got a lot of great action going on. And there is the main stage. Let's check what happened right here just a minute ago on this very stage. And there you have it. The match you've all been waiting for turned out to be one of the best matches of the year, if definitely not the tournament. And there you see Straight Rippin taking out final boss. Three games to two, T-squared, very pumped up, getting the monkey off his back, as to say. And there you see it right there, the final score, three to two. This is MLG Championship Sunday. Uh, we worked hard for the last two weeks, uh, land at the Ogre's house, and uh, we had some rough starts, like the onslaught flag, but uh, I think we're pulling it together. Don't want to get overconfident since we got to play very good teams tomorrow, but um, I mean, we're gelling very well, we're winning by some dominant scorers. I mean, even if one of us isn't playing our best, I still think we can win. watching the old final boss. Oh, oh my, my goodness, did you see that? Player just raining down fire. That's it, folks. It oh. Yeah, there it is. So there you have it, folks. A brand new champion in Halo 3. Yeah. Good God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We are live from Canada here as part of the Fan Expo in 2008, and this is Major League Gaming Championship Sunday. I am Farouk Tahid, hosting you for this championship great day. It is a very exciting tournament. So many great things going on. We had the top four teams advance last night, but the question is, how many of those top four still remain? And to help me flesh out all that and to explain what's been going on all the great gaming, I have with me Chris Puckett and Nexi, my man, sexy Nexi to be exact. Gentlemen, this tournament's been amazing. I've been very excited with everything that's been going oh, on. Yeah. Tell me how you feel about the tournament so far and what has been your impressions. Well, excitement just can't contain what I'm feeling right now, Farouk. You know, this tournament has been absolutely ridiculous. This morning, we saw one of the best matches of all time, straight ripping versus final boss. But you know what? Seven of our top eight teams coming into this event had different rosters, and the majority of those teams are looking much stronger than they did in Orlando, straight ripping being at the top of my list. Oh, yeah, this is definitely the best tournament of the year. I mean, all the rumors are true. Straight ripping's on top of their game. Final Boss is on top of their game. Instinct has been untouchable this tournament, and Ambush is causing, they cause an upset in the loser's bracket, I think. And there you have it right there with straight ripping, causing all kinds of problems. They're having a great tournament. And let's just check out this replay here as we see when straight ripping took on final boss a little earlier. And we're going to see what happened as straight as T-Square greets his neighbor, his former teammate, and gives him a little head rub right there. Gentlemen, the little endearing head rub or maybe not. What do you think about straight ripping and their chances of this tournament? And how are they faring without neighbor now? Well, you know what? Straight Rippin' is playing angry this tournament. I absolutely love the energy they showed in games three, four, and five against Final Boss. I, I'm expecting big things out of them, like I said last night. 
Absolutely. Straight Ripping is on top of their game, like I was saying earlier. Even though they were down two games to O on final boss, they were still out slaying them on the games they were losing. They come back, they impose their will on Straight Ripping and every other team they played this tournament so far. Definitely, and Straight Ripping definitely out slaying final boss in that game five. But we're going to check out the winner's bracket and see how it all has been playing out as we check back as far as the corner finals. And there you see it, Straight Ripping over final boss three to two. But gentlemen, I look at the bottom half of that bracket and I see Instinct. 3-0 over Carbon, 3-0 over Triggers Down. Now we got a winner's bracket final set up with Straight Ripping and Instinct. Has Instinct's road to this to this spot been easy, or have they just been that dominant here in Toronto? Well, Instinct, they've definitely impressed me. You know, I said these guys are going to finish in the top three of this tournament. You know what? I might change that to top two if they continue to play like they were earlier this morning and definitely like they were last night. Soviet, that kid's blowing my mind this weekend. Instinct is on fire. They haven't dropped a game yet this tournament. I mean, Roy and Lunchbox, they're the backbone of the team. Walshy taking that leadership role with Triple X and Soviet. I mean, this kid is amazing. If you guys remember last night on, on uh, Championship Saturday, he goes positive 16 with most time on Guardian Ball. The next best slayer in the game only went positive three. He's nuts. And there you go. You guys both having fun with Soviet there. But let's look at the loser's bracket and see how it's working out there on the bottom from the teams that already lost one game. And we're going to check out that loser's bracket right now as we see. Look at that classic taking out the number two team triggers down an Orlando champion but final boss being pushed to the limit by ambush and we'll see a classic final boss matchup gentlemen what do you think about that well final boss started to scare me they were just playing ambush on the main stage behind us ambush they came out kicking but nexi triggers down what finals match no they're not even in the tournament oh, son <laughs> Hey, I don't know what to say about that but classic I mean they're doing something right they must have heard me on Friday when I called out um now, oh, now, I'm not even going to get to that. Hold, hold on, hold up, gentlemen. We, no, you're not going to get to that, but we're going to get to that. I remember something a little bit from our, our ESPN <laughs> oh, oh. Championship Saturday. Let's check that out and see exactly what Boss happened. Top two? Come on, they have not been around long enough. They've not been playing together long enough as a team. They've had three weeks to practice for this tournament. They've not been around long enough? Is 2004 a far time? I think it was. Neighbor just joined years? the team three weeks ago. I mean, listen up. You ready? Sugar's down top two. Straight from versus Triggers down in the final. Straight from is taking it home. Macchio's Ready, been on the team for left. less time than Neighbors John been on Curry. final boss. And That's how fine. can you say the best player in the league? How much money you got in your pocket? Uh oh. Uh oh. We're going to how the pocket. How much pockets. money you got in your pocket? You know I what? got Canadian coins right here. I got. A he blue got the dollar. blue five. He I got really the blue five. I don't know All what right. this is. I think this is like three or four dollars. It could be anything. Let's come I, Sunday. Let, one of us is going to have this money. Check this out, Joe. I got hockey players on the back of my blue dollar bill. And five dollars Canadian <laughs> says that instinct will play Shake higher than triggers down. Uh oh, that's shaking that, Trigger instinct, Walshy's new team will place higher than Macchio's new triggers down. I can't squad. agree with that. Okay. No way. Now now this is the thing, hold up now. If you're gonna bring up a bet ne Nexi, you called the shot and you bought up the bet. You the one went into Chris's pockets. Now it's time for you to dig in your pockets and pay up. All right, all right. I'm gonna pay you, Chris. I'm a man of my word, but I took a risk there. I'll admit, I may have been a little bit wrong there. I took a risk with my guys. Chris. Nexi, I don't take risk because I know everything. Pay up, have fun, have fun with your blue hockey players, the blue Chris. Hockey there player. you go, man. Just, I'm going to enjoy this at the bar, lady. Thank you, Nexi. And for Tupac, i got to give you that symbol, buddy. <laughs> I miss you. And there we see it right there. Triggers down, going out. But coming up, you saw the brackets. You see how it all played out. You see who's alive. We got the top. We got two teams that are still undefeated coming up in our winner's bracket finals. You guys stay tuned. This is Championship Sunday.